so just a quick review here. That house was never there. When I bought this house in 2010, this garage was uh, on the boundary line. Caswell's owned that house, Dr. Caswell, and he owned this lot as well. But for whatever reason, the garage was built on the borderline, not subdivided, has to be a 20 foot side setback. This house, sh this lot should have never went up for sale because it didn't need zoning. Whether they could get a variance, they apparently couldn't when uh, Caswell died. The brothers went to Gusta Ronson of Good Deeds to try and get a subdivide, but they couldn't because there needs to be 20 feet between the eaves of the house to the eaves of this garage, uh, 40 feet, I'm sorry, 40 feet between. So they couldn't. So what they did, and I have the survey showing that the plan where they tried, that that's what they wanted to do, and the boundary line from my house runs right up alongside this garage. So what they did, the Caswells, they just took the federally capped stakes, or whatever, maybe they're not federal, I'm not sure what they are, and uh, moved them from where they were over here, in this spot right around here someplace, and I guess moved them in, I don't know how many feet it is from the east, 15, 20 feet, and planted it right here. But there's, <laughs> you know, it's not legal. And since then, the lot sold to these people. Um, friends of Judge Worth, Bo Cameron, told me he had a big uh, paving company down in Lincolnville. His granddaughter is like the treasurer of the Lincolnville town office. Anyway, he's like in his 80s. He said, uh, I said, you, you, that lot's uh, not in compliance. And the house wasn't built yet over there. And he said, he was, I said, you need to go get a variance, go get it, I'll sign off on it and we'll live happily ever after. He said, well, I'm friends with Judge Worth, who lives over on Cedar Street here, and she's already taken me for like 12000 by then in small claims court. And uh, I said, well, I guess then you don't have to, but you really should so that in case I move, you don't have any problems. Well, instead, with police protection, they just came in and have been claiming that part of my property is theirs. And, pre and there was a nice drainage ditch going between the two properties as well that they've since mangled my property, bringing backhoes back there and everything, and have now filled in that ditch on top of it. I can't go on my own property because the police come and, and give me criminal trespassing notices and threaten to arrest me, yada, 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 with Penny Ray Cameron living here, Bo Cameron, and they've got it under a living trust. The uh, uh, Cameron Ray Living Trust. So I guess that's to protect them from lawsuits or whatever. So then we move across the street here to Charles Beck's property. I'm not sure if they split this property or not. This was has always been like a swamp. Now, mind you, from 2012 to 2011, ever since I started getting flooded, I've been trying to get drainage on this street because what happens is up the top of the street there, there's a big culvert, and from half of Belfast all the way up by Captain Albert Stevens School, even across Route 1 at the National Guard and over there, they all send all their water down here through that culvert, and it comes down through the backyards. And on the last private property that has part of that uh, path, the, the water comes down that wiped me out uh, nine months after I bought the place where I would, my number one was no water issues. Left a four foot, 12 foot uh, ravine, took a quarter of my backyard with it back there. Anyway, so now Charles, Charles went to City Hall as I was trying to get the zoning and the, the, uh, the drainage here for the street. And he went to go talk to city manager, Joe Slocum. I said, that's like going to the devil and asking how to get to heaven. And he came back from that meeting and said that Joe Slocum says I'm crazy. City Hall says I'm crazy. And uh, now Charles is uh, a couple years later. Now he, he had a swamp here in his front yard. He had wanted to take his water and get a culvert put in to drain it over to my ditch over there, which isn't existent anymore. And I got flooded last week now when the water came down. My whole front yard's now getting flooded from these people. But there's nothing I could do because the cops and the judges all protect. <sighs> anyway, so uh, Charles is, uh, this was all uh, level. And the city public works came in here on June 25th and dug out this ditch. 
And as city attorney Bill Kelly wrote me in a letter and city manager told me in 2011, the city is precluded, precluded, I think was the word that they used, from doing work on private property, especially drainage. But they came in here on June 25th and did this for Charles. Okay? Now, then backhoes came in in trucks last week and dumped in tons of dirt to pick up his backyard back there next to the garage. He's got so many vehicles, so much stuff. Oh my God, I'll tell you what. But anyway, so he picked up the grade back there and he, now he's dug out this whole ditch along the side that goes all the way back. I don't know if you can see this or not here. All the way back there. That's a lot of water. So that's all going to come through this ditch now and come underneath And this is, a, this is always wet here. It's like a pond that's here all the time. So all this is going to drain down now through that culvert he's got underneath his driveway. I don't know if they're paving here or not. I got a, a car, a guy was knocking on my door the other day. From camera on paving, no less. I left a, a card in my door. I don't know if it's to get me jazzed up or not. I mean, that camera on are these people. So are they all in cahoots here now? Is Charles getting a deal from the Camerons? I don't know if he's paving or what the deal is. And that's going to be even more runoff. So what happens is, is this goes underneath his driveway, the culvert. He's got another one there that was put in by the city. I got video of that. Uh, I got a playlist on my YouTube, Charles Beck is special, something like that. And then it comes over here. It'll drain out to this culvert. right there and across the street is where it comes out which is supposed to be uh costello kathy kearns she's i think living with ned leitner who does the videotaping for the city meetings and stuff i know him from bayside since 1969 but he's in with the city and stuff so so anyway so this culvert comes out here and drains in between our properties and then goes out behind Behind here is the stream. I'll show you real quick. I had to put all rocks in. I, it, I was getting estimates of $85,000 back in 2012 to stabilize my banks back here after that water came ripping through. Minister Tarpley, the previous owner, brought truckloads of dirt in and filled in that ditch. I drove up here from New Jersey in uh, 2009 to view five properties. I could have bought another house if they would. I would have never bought this. My number one issue was no water issues. Oh, you can't see it, it's all. Anyway, that's, that's the ditch. I got other pictures of it back there. I don't know, you can't really see. And that's uh, Main Health right behind me, also dynamiting no, uh, uh, notice of that, or approvals just <laughs> in uh, 2012 or so put a tag on my door that they're going to be dynamiting and and I get their water off as well the water goes through that into that ditch anyway so and when I went to go see an attorney uh, David Lippman he told me that there's a statute it's illegal to take accumulating water and send it to another which is exactly what Charles doing on top of the city's not supposed to do work on private property so and they've been falsely arresting me and charging me with terrorizing with a dangerous weapon. I have my second day of the trial is tomorrow for an, a, absolutely not. That's on my YouTube video as well and on my blog. You can go to my blog, Boycott Belfast Blogspot. It's just been an annihilation for since 2010 here. Me, no prior record, 58 year old single mom living here alone, terrorizing the hell out of me on Seaview Terror, right? Okay, bye.